What's going on everybody? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to yet another video here on the Next DIY Lawn Channel. Today is going to kickstart a brand new series on the channel that's actually going to take multiple videos here. Um, all about one of my favorite packs that we sell here at Green County Fertilizer, the Next Seed Starter Pack. And believe it or not, it consists of multiple applications, three to be exact. And because of that, that means I'm going to have to make three different videos for you guys, break it down into three different steps to make sure that you succeed with your seeding. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is going to be none other than preparation. It's very important. You guys hear that? No, no, not today. Hey man, what's up? <sighs> oh no. Oh, no, 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 oh, come on, man, no, don't walk awesome. down here, come on, please, don't and... walk down, oh, I'm in the middle of something What's here, up? what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you here today? Uh, you know, I was just, uh, I was just in the neighborhood, <sighs> yeah, I gotta say, right. man, you're, you're looking, you're looking dapper. Hey, man, look, I like your hat, we got, see, we got matching hats, right, yeah? Clearly, pretty, you, you're not cool, getting right? the memo. Mine says Green County Fertilizer, yours says Next DIY Lawn. They're not the same in any way, shape, or anyway, form, so don't even uh, try and play that I was that in the card. neighborhood, realized so that so time of the month the again, figured I would maybe come in real quick and enlighten the folks about uh, all right, you know what? Green County just, Fertilizer, just do it. let them know the latest just do and greatest. It, come on. We don't all right, have all yeah, day. yeah. If you don't mind, you know, I didn't think I was gonna make it in time, but I'm just so glad to be you here and supposed to be have here. the opportunity to do this. So anyway, so you guys know, come on, I'm here to talk about Green County Fertilizer. Uh, two things: when in doubt, print the PDF out. Go to mm -hmm. greencountyfert.com forward slash DIY. Scroll down that page. Below are two top DIY distributors. They'll be able to find yeah. cubbies and information uh -huh. on every single product we make. Everything from uh -huh. you know product yep. manuals to application rates, safety, uh -huh. data sheets, you name it. It's all there. When in uh -huh. doubt, print that PDF out. Greencountyfert.com forward slash DIY. It's all there to help you. And secondly, <laughs> one more thing I'd like to let you guys know that these products, they're no ordinary products. These are the exact same products that the professionals use out on the field, so All right. yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Greencountyfort.com forward slash DIY. Thank you guys, yeah, we whatever. appreciate you. All right, can you can you please go back to the hole that you crawled cool. out of? You, I gotta finish. You wanna go this. eat after? Go! All right, all right, all right, cool. Anyway, nice to see yeah. everybody. All right, I don't know what you're so excited about. You got a great guy here, guys. Yelling at me. Keep him in. Anyway, keep him up. Get, get, get out of here. Man, you guys have no idea. So That's what I have to deal back. with every single time. It's like having another person in the house. He doesn't even live here. I don't even know where he came from. All right, everybody, so take two on this. The first thing you wanna do before you purchase your materials, before you start doing any steps, is you wanna go ahead and do a little bit of prep work if you haven't already. So basically what you wanna do is two things when it comes to prep. Number one, you wanna determine the situation it is that you're dealing with. So what I mean by that is you wanna figure out how big is the lawn, is it thin, is it bare, is it already thick, and you're just looking to slightly accentuate it. You need to determine these things because that will dictate things such as how much much product you need to buy going out the gate and on top of that it will also dictate the application rates of those particular products so it's very important to know right out the gate the size and the state of the lawn that it is you're going to seed all right here we are so let's go ahead and do a brief walk around brief tour if you will of this lawn that we're going to be overseeding this is the front lawn this is about a thousand square feet here and as you can see we got a good amount of turf in here already that's what this stuff is right here, but it's also overtaken by crabgrass. This lawn hasn't had a pre-emergent put down in the spring, and because of that, we have some crabgrass coming up. So we have something that's also going to take care of that, as well as push the existing turf, as well as the new turf that we're going to be implementing in here. So you can see you got quite a bit of a crabgrass invasion in here. Another portion of the front yard, it's kind of like a J shape, if you will. So it curves around here. Got a little side lawn here. More crabgrass coming around to the back. We have all of this open land back here that I'll show you once we get to the top of this hill. For the most part, this is what we're dealing with in the back. Just 
100% of open land, open area, and this is what we need to seed here, 100% open space. Coming back around to the front, there's the front yard that we just looked at. We have this little triangular side yard here. Similar problems to the front, similar composition. We got a good amount of turf in here, some dollar spot in there, not that big a deal. We also got some crabgrass that again, we're gonna be getting rid of today. So that's the walk around to the lawn. That's what we're dealing with. When you put that together, it's about 7,000 square feet total, but we're cutting out that area there. It's about 500, so 6,500 square feet is what we're going to be seeding today. So once you figured that out, now you can move on to part two, which is going to be actually prepping the seed bed that you are going to seed here. So what I would recommend to you guys, for those who do have a thick stand of turf, it's pretty thick to the point where it grows oh so vigorously, I highly recommend mowing the lawn ahead of time a couple of notches lower than normal, two notches to be exact. The reasons I recommend this is number one, seed the soil contact. When we put the seed down, we want the seed to be able to easily navigate itself down into the soil. And having less foliage in the way, less existing foliage that is, is going to make that much easier. So make sure that you cut your lawn two notches lower than normal ahead of time, um, and then that way you'll be good to go. This actually brings me to the second reason I recommend cutting your lawn lower than normal for seeding, and that is because we wanna give it some space, right? We wanna give the lawn some space, especially when we seed, because those little seedlings, when they start coming up, they're going to be oh so delicate, right? And the last thing we wanna do, especially if we have a thin lawn with lots of air pockets that we need to fill in with the new seed, is be running over it with the mower and crushing those delicate little seedlings. So two weeks off the lawn, at least no mowing until the two week period is up, right? We wanna let things grow in and breathe a little bit, if you will, before we go and do our next mowing. So again, that's gonna be at least two weeks of waiting until we can cut again. Did I, do I, did I say that enough times? <laughs> I always do that. I, I'm very repetitive. You guys will find that out with me. I'm, I'm a very repetitive breed. I just say the same things over and over and over. Anyway, on to the next part. Now let's talk about materials. So the first thing we need is our seed of choice, which for me is going to be from our good friend Pete over at GCI Turf. Fun fact about Pete, he's actually one of the DIY vendors for the Next Fertility product. So I figured, you know what, why not return the favor and use his seed as it's very clean, right? There's no weed seeds in there. And on top of that, it germinates oh so fast when it's watered right. Germinates within five to seven days. Really good quality seed. Been using it for two seasons now, and I'm very, very impressed with the overall quality of that grass seed. If you're looking for seed, Pete's the man. The next thing we're gonna need, get it, next. The next thing we're going to need is going to be our seed starter pack, which is going to consist of four products from the line, 162012 Green Pot, 901 Green Start, 1801 Green Punch, and RGS. These are not going to be applied together. They're going to be applied separately at different stages in the seeding process, which I'll be breaking down more in future videos coming up. One of them we'll be talking about today. And the RGS is going to be our specialty product, which is going to complement and amplify our fertility products, which were the other three that I just talked about. So those are the products in the next seed starter pack, four products, three steps, three applications, three videos, one today, two more coming, stay tuned. Next up, gloves. This one's actually optional. Now, if you get these products on your hands, it's not gonna be the end of the world. They will not hurt your skin. I will say this though, if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, wearing gloves is a really, really good idea when you're using these products. Again, not harmful, but they will get on your hands. Just saying that right now, these products do tend to jump. So don't be alarmed if that happens. It's not gonna hurt anything. If you're not one for that, you can always wear gloves, not that big of a deal. Now this actually brings me to another point that I wanna mention real quick. So for those who want to use a weed control with your seed, first off, we have a product for you guys. It's called Metso 4C Select, which is basically tenacity. It's a really great quality weed control to use while you're seeding as it will not harm your seed. Now, there are certain restrictions to that. You just can't go spraying at any point in the seeding process and expect it not to hurt anything. You actually have to read the label and follow it, follow it exactly. Like for instance, if you wanna use it on the day of dropping the seed, you could do that, totally fine, nothing to worry about, as well as other ways you can use it that we'll talk about later on. Now, the second point I wanna make about that is if you are going to spike in a weed control, make sure you're wearing gloves. It's always a good idea to be safe. Make sure you're wearing your PPE in that particular case. But if you're not using it, just letting you guys know, gloves are not a must, but if you are, make sure you wear gloves, just be safe. 
it's always good to be safe. Now this last one, pretty obvious, we just need a means of application, right? We need a spreader for the seed, a sprayer for the product, Make sure you have those two things, whether it's a cheap spreader, a quality spreader, a hose end sprayer, or a backpack sprayer, pump sprayer, whatever it is, make sure you have a means of application for both of these and you'll be good to go. All right, now it is time to hit the ground running and get down all of this goodness that we have with us today. So if there's anything I've learned after two consecutive years of using the seed starter package, it's that if you are going to use it, there is a three step process that you can follow that will keep things clean and just all in all help you get through the process that much faster. And it's what I like to call the three S process. Seed, spray, sprinkle. Starting off with the seed part, right? Apply the seed with your spreader at the recommended rate. For my case, I'm using GCI seed and I'm seeding an existing lawn. So for that instance, Pete would recommend applying anywhere from about four to five pounds per thousand. Me, I like to go a little higher for that. So I'm gonna go at that five ounce per thousand rate. Obviously, if you're seeding a bare lawn, you're gonna want more. And if you're seeding an existing lawn, you're going to want less. It all depends on the seed you're getting and the manufacturer who makes it. Get your seed down, it is time to spray. This is where our starter pack comes in as well as our weed control if we need it. So in my case, yes, I am going to be using the Metso 4C Select. I'll leave a link below to all these products, by the way, for those of you guys who wanna pick them up. So the first step in the next seed starter pack is going to be an application of 16212 Green Pop at 12 ounces per thousand, as well as RGS at three ounces per thousand. The benefits we're gonna get from this application is going to be the NPK value from the Green Pop. Very important when you're seeding, you wanna get those three macros in there. NPK, you'll be okay, as I always like to say. And secondly, the RGS product is just going to to stimulate that root growth with the new seed that we're putting in, as well as, as an added bonus, give us more root growth in the existing grass that we have, which is always a good thing. The deeper your roots, the stronger your lawn is. So remember that and you'll be okay. Back to the weed control that I was talking about earlier, I'm going to be using the Metso 4C Select. And because we do have a current mixture of perennial ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrass in the existing stand of this lawn. The label of the Metso product recommends staying at five fluid ounces per acre. This product is in per acre. So um, if an acre is 43,560 square feet, that means you're going to need that much of the product per thousand. In our case, again, we have 7,000 square feet. So I'm going to use about this much product. I'm gonna be doing a blanket application of all these products, by the way, even the Metso product, because I do have quite a breakout of crabgrass in here as this lawn did not get a pre-emergent in the spring. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it, spray it down, and then you're ready to sprinkle. For those of you guys who don't know what I mean by sprinkle, all I mean is water, which brings me to the last part, and that is watering. When it comes to seed, there's one thing I could tell you if you wanna succeed with your seed, it's water, water, water. You're gonna be watering every day, three times a day, 10 to 15 minutes each time you water. This will just ensure that our seed will be able to take and establish faster than ever. So there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for step one of the next seed starter pack series that we're doing here. I look forward to seeing you guys again for step two, which will take place 21 days after application. In the meantime, just keep watering daily, 10 minutes each time, three times a day for 30 days, and I promise you, you'll be fine. Until then, I'm Jake the Long Kid, and I'll see you in the next video. See what I did there? I I'm sure that's getting old by now, but you guys get the idea. See you later.